Now, I don't think I would have spent five or ten minutes or so on that puzzle if it wasn't bugged, guys. <laughs> Having, um, I've got one assignment, is what it says. Having a bugged puzzle makes it a little trickier. Um... I mean, my level has always been too high for the main quest. I think I need to do the astronomy class quest before I can meet with Sebastian for Crucio. Yeah, I've got so many side quests, but I'm already over leveled. What's up, Deke? Deke had another side quest for me. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me something. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... Um, Deke? Yo, this room is actually so sick. I think that's what they used to get Cinderella to the oh. ball. Oh, seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. A as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the enchanted loom. And uh, perhaps help an old they friend in the Sorry, process. Sorry, you're gonna skip it for a sec. I'll mean? repeat it in a minute. A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. Indeed knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. All right. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. Okay, thank you very much Rusty Skeleton for the three-year resub. He says they put bacteria on the outside of the ISS for three years and some managed to survive in space. And then he says, SPACE! That's how I imagined you wanted that to be said. Thank you very much Rusty, welcome back. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So wait, what's up here? Revelio. Ooh. I can put my my Griffin here. No, Griffin. No, no, no. Get back in my backpack. Griffin, back in the backpack. I was just here to pluck your feathers for a little bit, okay? Can I go from here to the other beach? You can still use it even when he's here? Oh. No, oh, this place is huge, man. I unlocked an archway. All right. They love those in France. They're big on archways. I guess the Romans were big on archways. They left a couple of them behind. I guess the Greek were big on archways. All right, I was trying to do the astronomy class, and then I got so rudely interrupted by Deke. The broom is probably better than using a griffin, yeah. 
Sorry, cat. I need Handy to pet you. Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Greeks, humans, or Greeks, French, Romans? Never heard of them. What U.S. state are they in? Oh. I don't know, man. Why do the boulevards in Paris have trees on the side? So their enemies can do their victory marches in the shade. Lull. Boo. Thank you for the 500 bits. Boo. The USA is the only country. Yes. The only and the greatest. Here we go. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. This is where we predict each other's Perhaps futures. For an adventure. <laughs> I look like a real wizard. Ladies, Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find astronomy, astrology. What's the difference? On your bombs or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, it's the same thing. The heavens remain hazy to the starry eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a. It's the same thing. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, Neil deGrasse Tyson is a famous deck. astrologist. It's <laughs> that's how it goes. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I, <laughs> I was looking through the brim of my hat. I love it. Own. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> yeah, this is what he sees. Everything's just black. Wow. Wow, that's beautiful, man. I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of glass. Wow, that looks Is so that good. Clear? But professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self same Professor Shah is such a Scorpio. Is that clear? Such a try hard. <laughs> Dismissed. I love the classes at Hogwarts, man. This class entailed look through oh, the hello. telescope for three I, minutes. Amit, we met in potions class. I'm happy to report that we've yet to have any explosions in this class. Oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a no thanks, Amit. I'm good. Okay, fine. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. No, no, no. Give I me the good one. Got my hands on what do you mean, Amit? Contemplor. You're giving you me... It, I, assume? <sighs> I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Okay. Stargazing as long as I could. All of good that did. How am I supposed to find Sirius when my hands are too cold to use a telescope? It's a dog. There's a lot of light pollution here at Hogwarts, man. We can't see much. Okay, we gotta go to the storage. Wow! Prank! Prank! Was a joke! Oh, where's the Okay, the storage is there. Fine. 
Find a meat telescope in the storage area. Where's the storage area? The perfect night for... Oh, hello. I'll meet. Where did you say that telescope was? Sitting in the storage room beneath the top deck. Look for the smaller set of stairs oh, on the main observation I'm dumb. deck. Thank I'm just you. dumb. Of course. Hurry back once you've found it. So I'm just supposed to grab whatever looks like a telescope in the lower deck. Ah. He could have walked with me, man. Let's be real. Revelio. That thing looks awesome. This was his old telescope. <laughs> looks practically brand new. Oh no. A pristine night for stardom. This is a pristine night for stargazing at Hogwarts. It's so cloudy now. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Okay. The telescope came with a catch. Hello? Suddenly I, we have to be friends? That's not why I accepted this. Ah, I had a feeling there would be a catch to that telescope. <laughs> no, no. I, I certainly wasn't trying to bribe you or anything. But God, we are such are a jerk. In? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well... They are cowards. <clears throat> yeah, no, I get it. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. I like how I once again have the illusion of choice. Sounds exciting. I'm in or I suppose I could join you. <laughs> no need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? This guy is very excited about stargazing, which is honestly kind of awesome. People, uh, people being excited about anything. It's pretty cool. All right, Amit. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. Oh You'll no, it's another it escort it. quest. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally Lumos. marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Yeah, I'm pretty hyped about the stargazing uh, thing. Hey, mate. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. All right, Amit. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. We are barely in class. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here are you I watching the stream outside as well? Ahead. Yeah. Uh, why don't you lead the way? Yeah, you're sure. too slow. Thank you, man. You're actually watching the stream outside? A little foreboding. Are you touching grass? A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. That's very scary, oh, of man. Of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. Depulsa. Don't worry, guys. No one cares. Is touching grass for all of us. Incendio. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh, oh no. Not this close to school, I mean. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, that cobweb wasn't, you know. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. I didn't make those cobwebs, is what I'm saying. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. What am I doing? As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. I gotta line up the star. I did it. It was a perfect liar. I was right about the tables. 
They really are gateways to the far stars. This is how Just astrology as works, said. isn't it? And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one I day. I love astrology. It's one of my favorite things. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest. I like, I like how there's a couple of guys right now. They're like, Loco, it's not astrology. It's you. astronomy. Oh, and about my old telescope. Sorry, sorry. No bother returning it. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's quite generous. Right, astrology is Thank the you. science. You're welcome. Astronomy is, goblin cut glass is and a you know, the one where people just kind of, you can f phone them on the television. You know. um, they will give you your throat, future really and all that, right? Gobbledygook. Gotcha. Okay, and thank you for pronounce your R's. Um, anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. <laughs> Man, you guys troll me all the time, but as soon as I troll back for a little bit, a lot of people think I'm serious. It's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, Neil deGrasse Tyson, famous astrologist. Astrophysics? That's fake. Yo, where's my main quest? Ah, never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is so excited about... I have of a wizard who is being harassed by Halo. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. Okay. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? We're almost done. We're almost done with this very long main quest. Find the location of the second keeper trial. Professor Fix is in the map chamber. Okay. Professor Fig. Professor Fig. My cape is small? Yo, don't cape shame me, dude. It's not the size of the cape that matters anyways. Do I have a fast travel point at the cape place? I don't. <sighs> I actually do have a couple of talents, I think, that I can spend. Yeah, I've got three points. Um, I'm using the Sendo quite a bit, which I like. Um, this one I like quite a lot. I'm using that one quite a bit. Your internet is having issues. Oh, no. Man. Having internet issues? It's the worst. I don't really need more healing, man, out of my potions. I think I'll get that, so I won't complain as much. I now have hotkey bar number four. I'm just kidding, I will still complain just as much. I'm gonna set up another set of spells that I'll use in my second action bar. Okay, so this one's pretty sick. That one's pretty sick. That one's really sick. Okay, so this is this is all spell casting. For combat, I mean. I cannot do a high APM F1, F2. Yes. Oh, you can also scroll up and down. I don't like scrolling up and down. No, you can, yeah, you can do that. F1 is where it's at. 
Luckily, while you were away, Gabe changed the difficulty level to story mode so you'd stop complaining. Wait, I haven't complained about the combat. I actually think the combat in this game is really good. I've complained about the UI, okay? But I complained about the UI in every game I play. Inventory space? Yes. Not a fan. Ooh. The UI in, in Dead Space is amazing. Yes. Love the Dead Space UI. Credit where credit is due. That game just kind of lacks gameplay, but... <laughs> Other than that, the UI is amazing. That's it. Mm -mm -mm. Perhaps the UI is not the issue. Perhaps not. Hello, Hamora. Most of my complaints, though, about games, whenever I complain about the UI a lot, and this game is really not that bad, but it's always it's always the fact that it's a PC port. Revelio. Incendio. Oh, I could have done that previously too in that other room. Rebellion. Ah, shit. <laughs> okay, okay, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this, I, I got this, okay? I got this. I now figured out how this works. I think. I think. We just missed the explanation, okay, when we first found it. I don't know if there is an explanation somewhere, but... Um... Okay, um... So, the thing over here is a two. Zero, one, two, right? So what we need on the question mark is a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The little salamander thing. I think I get it now. For this one, we need the number three. One, two, three. We need the Hydra thing. Amazing. I got a stuffed toy dragon. Revelio. Wow. <laughs> I set the bar really low for a wow these days. Thank you, guys. That means a lot, man. I pressed Ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium, but my efforts were in Crucio! Vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. We need to Crucio. I agree, mate. We're gonna have to torture every... I mean, um... It's no Avada Kedavra, okay? It's it's not it's not Avada Kedavra, but it's pretty close. Oh, rewards. Cruz. That's all it says. Meet Sebastian. Outside the Slytherin common room. You're not allowed to know the password, okay? Do you think it's There's gonna be Christmas time at some point as well? I'm getting closer. Do you think it's gonna be Christmas time at some point in this castle? I think it will be. Actually kind of fun. It's time for us to learn one of the three most important spells in this game. We gotta learn the Crucio Curse. Cruciatus Curse has been successfully used for many years. And uh, it's time for us to now also uh, get in on its efficacy. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, you're on the list now, Garing Dutch. You're here. Brilliant. Hey, what's going on, Pavlov? Welcome. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth <laughs> Whoa, a try. Oh, Sebastian, what the but fuck don't was get that your mean? Hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. You, of all people. You just barely didn't call me cringe or said yikes. Keep Am I gonna out. try out Diablo 4? Yes. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. This guy is just too slow for a run is. animation. Good luck. What are you doing here? Ominous. What's up, mate? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <laughs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... What was it? A scriptorium? He told you about that? He did. We were talking about our house founder and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. Ooh, I have a cooler she of hers. like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. It's on my fact, computer right now. She'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. Oh god, I got an email from my electricity and energy provider, Chet. My new costs, starting on the 1st of April. Oh God, how much I need to pay? Um. Oh, prices have gone down a lot. Okay. That's nice. Yeah, prices prices are um, so apparently current pricing. So for those of you that are unfamiliar, um, electricity in the Netherlands and most of Europe is kind of nuts right now. Um, current pricing for one kilowatt hour without government assistance. So the entirety of the country, unless you live in a really big home, uh, are getting government assistance, myself included. Um, Current pricing without debt is 91.9 .9 cents per kilowatt hour. So that is uh, about a dollar per kilowatt hour. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Um, they put a limit on it, a government imposed limit of 40 cents. And apparently it is going down in April to 49 cents a kilowatt hour. So from 91 to 49. For gas, it's going from 2 euro 90 per cubic meter to 1 euro 82 per cubic meter. All right. <clears throat> Argyle, Argyle can be here to flex on us with his very cheap geothermal energy, yes. The three Icelandic people in the chat complaining about stuff, but uh... 
they get absolutely they, they get basically get their electricity for free. <laughs> now I invested in some solar panels a couple years ago at this point. It's been great, but your base price is 16 cents a kilowatt hour? Yeah. So imagine suddenly that price going through the roof by like sevenfold. Imagine how much people would be freaking out all of a sudden. It's pretty wild. Anyways, um... I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your Sorry, I saw the emo coming alone. in. I had to check it out. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here, and I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Ooh. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian, over here. These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? Incendio! It wasn't you who told me not to. Confirm them! The entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics on this. Something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. You pay between zero? Wait, you pay between two and four cents per kilowatt hour? Two cents a kilowatt hour? That's insane. Please tell me you drive an electric Dark, car. Ominous corridors. That is My such favorite. a good price. Holy crap. No comment. <laughs> Come on, that was a I'm good I'm very one. jealous. <laughs> Lumos. You're in Texas? Two cents a kilowatt hour in Texas? Damn. Yeah, so in the Netherlands, it's basically upwards of a dollar right now, which is wild. Looks like a lot Everything's cool. bigger in Texas, except electricity bills. <laughs> but then you do have the Texas grit, I guess. Yeah, that's uh, uh, yeah, that is good for it. I must prove my point. We do not need to use the dark arts as my family instructs. When I reach the scriptorium, I will find evidence that there's no more to Zalazar Slytherin than we realize. Or there is more, rather. Sorry. I have written to my brother. He know, or he now knows how I access the corridor's entrance and that there is no straight path to reach the scriptorium. Blah, blah, blah. I hope my brother follows. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. A journal entry. Signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. I know. She was my aunt. You knew? I didn't tell me. Wait, really? Ominous, Ominous. is Voldemort's the ancestor? The journal mentions many challenges ahead. That's why I said this could be dangerous. Aunt oh, Noctua kept know. my father informed until she vanished. There may be something to this pile of rubble. Do I have Reparo? I do. Reparo! The rubble formed a relief of a person facing the Dying on Leviosa! That must be the voice I hear. Lumos! Hmm, okay. The voice is ancient. Sinister. So that's why Ominous is the word that he is, I guess, huh? You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. Is it puzzle I'm time? a parcel mouth. Yeah. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I wish all Slytherins could talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. 
I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. <laughs> There's a character named Ominous and you're surprised they're related to the main antagonist? What do you mean, Motlesis? Next thing you tell me is that Cruella de Vil is also not the nicest person? No, no, no. Ominous, he's just misunderstood. Believe me, I am having thoughts, but I'm still convinced we should go ahead. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the Dark Arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. Lumos. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Yeah, maybe Between you shouldn't be here. Us, I... Never mind. Screw you. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Did uh, Mr. Slytherin have a minimap? Each gate for clues. Rebellion. Lumos. So the minimap is pretty sick, man. I'm not gonna lie. Incendio. Slytherin requires focus. Uh, Use Q and E to rotate same. the dial. It may take practice Sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't Lumos. make this easy. So what am I trying to do? I found a note. I shan't lose horror challenges by challenge. I will make it through. This okay. journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. Okay, hold up. I need to... But I don't know what I'm trying to achieve here. Uh, was I supposed Matching to brute force it? Did open it? Was about to do that myself, but you got to it first. <clears throat> nice work. Which I just I matched two these two on the right. I matched. I don't know what I did. Uh, I'm a little afraid that I'm <laughs> gonna have to do that another dozen times, and I don't even know what I did. I'm actually, um, after seeing how difficult this was to crack, I'm thinking about updating all my passwords on the internet to two character passwords instead. Apparently Slutterzar or whatever the fuck his name is, Slytherin, Mr. Slytherin thought it was safe. Extraordinary, this journey is painful but rewarding. I shall soon find the scriptorium and discover untold secrets. Not sure reference is painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. <laughs> hey! Don't want to get greedy or anything, but all I heard was rewards. Keep going. We've got more to solve ahead. Maybe there were signs Search on the gates or something. Yeah, that would make sense. It may not be obvious which leads where. So this one. Incendium. Lumos. So this one is like a. Uh... Yeah. Okay. It's like a pyramid and like a little duck. Duck pyramid. Duck pyramid. Hello. Oh, I thought I had to do it over here. It's a fish loco? No, 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 it's a duck. Rebellion. Uh. Lumos. Oh, there's it's over here behind this wall. There's something over here as well though. Okay, yeah, so this is like Moon Snake. Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Uh, That's Moon the family. Snake. Look in the mirror, Sebastian. Yeah. Quark, quark. That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Thanks, man. I tried really hard. Incendio. I got Lumos. I tried so hard. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot what I was doing! Uh, no, 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 it was duck! Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. 
It was- she it was did. Duck. And she was my favorite person in the world. Really. Was the duck on the top or the bottom? It was Duck Pyramid. Yes. I think Another it was Duck on the top. Not the welcoming sword. Hello, I can't see shit. That was the duck. That was the duck. Woo! Sorry, I had to take off the lights. So I can actually see Excellent my monitor. Work. Lumos. We're another step closer to the Oh, scriptures. hey. There's a torch right over there. I should have used that, huh? Wouldn't have been a problem. No, my character can only Lumos. do one spell at a time, guys. We can't possibly be turning a dial while holding up our, our wand with, with Lumos, okay? I'm becoming an actual dark wizard. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. Shh, guys! The gate! I think we're locked in. Again. Clusio! Then is not yet finished with us. I've lost hope. I'm locked in. I heard a scream and saw the tortured faces. The only way forward is with an unforgivable curse. Even if I wanted to cast it, I have no one upon whom to do so. Salazar Slytherin created a malicious challenge indeed. In my last correspondence to my brother, I'd invited him here. Now, if he looks for me alone, I'll have led him to his death. Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. I wish we had parted on better terms. Ominous. <sighs> okay, chat. Um, they're gonna have to pull a straw, I and guess, on who I'm gonna practice it on. Entry. She mentions being this is why here, Sebastian came along. by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have no, 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 we brought Sebastian along. Don't worry Honest, about it, I'm Sinister. I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. Mm-hmm, me too. It's going to be difficult. No, it's not gonna be that hard. Um, all I need to do is, uh, I'm gonna say the words, and then, um... Um, yeah, y you open the door, Sebastian. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus Curse, the door will open. That's my guess. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. No, 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 Good one, Sebastian. That was so Wish funny, mate. we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. Should have known he would have told you. And one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. Okay, now we'll die here, mate. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. Mm, X for doubt. Don't think so. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to. Very well, I don't want to learn the Cruciatus Curse. I want to learn the Cruciatus Curse, but you must cast it on me. Teach me the Cruciatus Curse, and I'll cast it on you. I mean, it's obviously two or three. The question is, do we want to use it on Sebastian? 
Okay, let's do a poll. Let's do a poll. Which option? One, two, three. You have one minute to vote. Oh my god, there's a couple of people voting one. <laughs> really? Fucking Gryffindors over here. No, I mean, uh... <clears throat> Sorry, Harry. Democracy makes torture okay. That's <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> Look, otherwise we'll die in this room, okay? I'm just running a poll because I know what you guys are going to vote on. I already knew the outcome. I'm just using this to justify my, uh, my means. That's what I'm doing. Sebastian. Mate. <clears throat> I want to learn the curse, and I think it's best if I cast it on you. Very well, if that's what you want. To perform the spell, raise your wand, point it at me, and firmly declare, Crucio. Hold on as long as you can. We're good friends, okay? Me and Sebastian. I'm sure this will not be a problem at all. This is like an advanced Zoro. Not easily done. That was very complex. Ready? I'm ready. Got it on the first try, baby. Are you all right? He's doing all right. He's doing all right. Don't worry about it. Oh. Are you all right? That pain, I would have done anything to make it stop, but I'll survive. Honestly, that didn't look too bad, man. I do Let's keep moving. We made it. We I, I mean, Salazar Slytherin you didn't even scream, man. I, I, I can't believe we're here. Uh -huh. I mean, he was worried he was here just the third wheel, okay? At least he, um, he was here for a reason. And I think that's beautiful. Rebellion. Lumos. Okay, this is Salazar Slytherin's Scriptorium. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? Okay. So do I have Crucio now as as one of my one of my abilities? Oh, I sure do. Causes most enemies to writhe in pain as they take damage over time. Also curses the victim and cursed enemies take additional damage. Happy New Year! Fireworks, dude. Well, I mean, it's technically a Lumos. forbidden curse, but that is mostly the case in, you know, a hundred years from this point at Hogwarts. At this point, back in the late 1800s, everything's okay. I fear we shall never come to an accord. I cannot persuade even one of them to listen to reason. I had dared, or I had dared hope that Godric's thoughts were aligned with my own. So that's Godric's Gryffindor, I guess. That he understood why the caliber of student needed to be exceptional, but he has fallen prey to the ridiculous notion that Mogoborns are somehow as capable as pure blood. 
He was furious when I expressed my displeasure at his thought on the matter, thoughts he had not yet put voice to. Wow. I tire of Discord. Me too. I also find Discord quite annoying sometimes. Um, and can no longer bear with... I mean, it's just like so... They've added too many features. And, you know, much like the UI in this game, it can be difficult to navigate. Anyways, he tires of the Discord and can no longer bear witness to the corridors full of enough children masquerading as witches and wizards. It is with a heavy heart that I now know I must go from here. I shall place the creature into a deep sleep in its chamber until it can be awakened by one who shares my views. A descendant willing to reverse the damage that the others have so carelessly wrought. One who shall rid the school of those unworthy of Hogwarts that would serve only to stain my legacy. Okay. So a beast that can get rid of all the muggles. At least that's what he calls them. Lumos. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still he seems alright again, man. told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. He's, it's he's breathtaking. Reading. Yeah. I've been getting an uneasy feeling about this place. We shouldn't linger here. Let's find a way out, please. I don't so, want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. He's stare, he, he's of sort you, of beast here. Lumos. Made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Yeah, it must exactly be the Chamber of Secrets, right? The Basilisk. Makes a lot of sense. Poor Ginny. 